for giving me this opportunity to contribute to this motion of adjournment. I think for the last couple of hours we've been treated to heated arguments on the floor of the house where we've observed every both I mean the sides of the house sticking to their guns but I believe when it comes to the, the debate on these demonstrations we need to take a step back and look at actually what it has what is at stake at this point in time and at this point in Kenya's history. Yes, the, the cost of living is very high. Yes, we have so many problems. And Kenyans have every right to picket and demonstrate. But what the question I want to pose is, is it actually the right time to demonstrate when our economy is suffering, when we need to lower the cost of living, when we need to do much to fix what is a sorry state of our economy? I come from a business community that suffered a lot during Monday's demonstrations. And we lost one Kenyan's life. I would like all of us to think critically about where our country is at this point in time. And let patriotism reign. I have covered demonstrations and riots and street demos and all kinds of picketing in many parts of the world as a journalist. There are many ways to show your dissatisfaction. But stopping business in two of the most important business districts in the country. At this time when we need to fix our economy, I believe it's not being patriotic. And again, responsible opposition requires matters be dealt with in institutions like this one. I would therefore like to appeal to my party, Azimio, to rethink these demonstrations for the sake of Kenya and Kenyans at this critical time when we need to do a lot. I mean, if, and I just want to point out one thing, Mr. Speaker. Where was the dollar rate on Monday, and where is it today? I rest my case. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.